<laughs> I'll move it up a bit so y'all can see me. Hey guys. Um, Boz here from New Old Finds. And when you hop on, let me know that you're here. So I don't think I'm just talking to myself. Let me know where you're from, what y'all are doing. It's afternoon here. It's a quite a nice day, actually. So, how's it going? Yo, all right, a couple people here, good. So today we are going to transfer on a redesign with Prima Apron. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen other of the brand ambassadors um, using it, doing the same thing. But uh, I'm going to play with some of the newer transfers and some of the older ones too. Um, but these are great. I love these ones. I think they're super, super cute. They have the, um, the ruffle on the bottom, which I just love. I think it's so cute. And uh, so for this one... Um, I'll point you down now. This one I painted with um, two different fusion colors. I did, uh, let me move this out of the way. I did um, Bayberry on the bottom, which is a lovely green. And then I, um, I watered it down. So it was a lighter green. And then I used um, uh, Cathedral Taupe, which is kind of like a creamy, a dark cream color. So that um, I blended up into the top of the um, apron, which is like a natural cream color. So I figured it went kind of well together. Um, I'm not a blender, I'm not good at blending, as you can see, but it's okay, because I'm gonna cover it up. I just watered it down anyway. All right, so we're going to use, um, this is part of, the birds are part of the new transfer, um, Postal Birds, and then the Dreamer is part of um, the Thankful Autumn, which is here. And then I'm going to use some of um, the florals and uh, greenery from uh, Floral Collection. So I think it's gonna look kind of cool. All right, so we're going to start with putting the birds on and then I will do Dreamer. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do them below the pocket line or above the pocket line. But I think I'm going to do just below. I think I'm going to try and line up the bottom of the pocket with this little branch here. Like that. So that it looks like it's sitting on the pocket and then the branch goes out. You know what I'm saying? But I need to clean up this little area here because I had to cut out something else that was right here. So it looks kind of odd with what's there. So I'm just going to clean that real quick. There's just some little stringy wingy thingies whatever they are and then I will go like so all right that just made it cleaner all right so say hi let me know you're here um let me know you're watching all right so I'm just gonna get started and I'm going to try and sort of line it up where the floral here and the the postal stamp are kind of on opposite sides of the middle of the uh, pocket there. 
Hi guys! I'm glad to see somebody saying something now. I was like, thinking I was just talking to myself. Alright, so let's put our birdie birds here. And so now you know the, uh, the transfers have these grids, grid lines on them, and so it makes it so much easier to be able to make sure that you're getting everything lined up perfectly. All right, so I'm going to want to do what I've got on the inside of the pocket first so that I can wrap around and under and into the, uh, the edge of the uh, pocket there. All right, so I'm just going to use uh, the stick that came with it. Um, you can use the transfer tool. I have one here. Um, you can use it if you like it. I'm I'm particular to the uh, sticks. I, I don't know. I just like them. So I'm going to use the stickies, but you can use the tool. And I'm just going to want to go really carefully over all my edges because I'm doing it on fabric. It's a little different because it does, you know, it moves. So you want to make sure that you go over every, like, little square inch of it, right? You don't want any kind of air bubbles or pieces that aren't attached. You want it to all be nice and smooth when you go to take the, the plastic off. And it's a little difficult, a little more difficult when it's on a, you know, a surface that moves than it is on, you know, something that's hard. All right. So, I think I'm getting every little spot. And it makes that fun noise on fabric. Woompa, woompa, woompa. Okay, so I haven't attached my uh, spots here. So to do that, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use the transfer tool because I want to get it kind of tucked in there, and my stick because it's rounded, it won't get in there. Um, yeah, after. Um, after I'm done with everything, I will do uh, fabric Mod Podge over it, and then I will be able to wash it, yes. All right, so I'm just going to kind of run this along the edge of where the pocket is. And that's gonna get that kind of tucked into, you know, underneath where the, the pocket is. So it looks natural. It won't look like, oh, it, it, you know, it's not there. The opening for the pocket is up here, right? Which I'm not going to go over. All right, so then I'm going to just finish doing this side now. And I'm going to hold my, my plastic real nice and tight so that it's not moving around on me because I don't want it to crack. And I want it to get down into the fibers, into the nap of the fabric, right? And I'm, I'm pushing really quite hard. I wanna make sure it's, it's adhered and on there, which makes it a little bit easier because I did paint the fabric first truck out there okay so let's just double check this one's on yeah okay one little spot there in the corner good okay look how cute all right, and then I'm 
I'm just going to run my finger right along that edge just to get it stuck down. Perfect. Nice. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing for the other bits here. Um, I didn't do anything special to it. Um, I think next time, instead of using the water, I might use, um, like, fabric conditioner. Um, what do you call that? Is that what you call it? Yeah, I did do paint. I mean, I did do water. I did, I did mix it with water. Um, but you can hear it's like, it's a little, uh, what do you want to call it? Crunchy? <laughs> I mean, it's still flexible, you know, but it's got that um, thicker, like this is softer up here, right? But that's fine. I can, um, I can always, you know, use some fabric softener on it. That's what I meant. All right, so again, we'll do the thing. It doesn't, it, it's not going to bother me. Um, but yeah, next time I will definitely try it with, um, with some fabric softener mixed in and see if that helps. It should, obviously. All right, get these guys tucked in there under that little lip. Okay, that's already attached, good. All right, the bottom of the tail, tuck that in under. Holding on to the plastic, making sure it's not moving anywhere, it shouldn't be. are attached nice these new transfers make a huge huge difference too let me tell you okay Let's see Did we get it all you really need to push hard to get all up into those fibers. Nice. So that's like, um, it feels like, you know when you did the old, um, um, the iron-on, and it had that soft, Kind of shiny feel to it that's what this feels like um fabric mod podge is really the only thing that you can seal it with um if you plan on washing um you could use wax if you wanted if it wasn't something that you had planned on washing a lot and then that way you could just kind of you know damp wipe clean it But other than that, I don't know of anything else. All right, let's see. Line these guys up. And I probably should have cut the printing line off, but I did not. So that's okay, too. All right. So again, we want every little bit covered. All the corners, every little bit. Because it's flexible, you want to make sure that you're holding on. You don't want it to shift and move while you're transferring. Like I'm actually getting a sweat doing this. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't leave it hard, but it, it will be shiny, but you could, um, which I've done in the past, I've, uh, taken like a really high, like 600 grit paper to it, 
which kind of dulls it down a bit so it's not as shiny but you need the shine or you need that you know that thickness that 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 I mean shine yeah for um that sheen to um know that when you wash it's not going to um go through because there's enough plastic in it kind of like with your sheens for your your sealers right the higher the sheen the more plastic that's in it so the more durable it is Working up a sweat. Jeepers. Okay. All right, so that was the um, the new transfers. So now this is a midline older transfer. There's no, uh, whatchamacallit, sheet on it, grid. So let's see. I think I want to put it off. Ow, I keep forgetting that thing is there. See, now I have to stand up and look at it to make sure I get it straight because I don't have the lines. So I think, like, right there is good. I have a... Ah, there we go. There's a bump underneath. I think that's good. Now this one definitely, because it's an older transfer, definitely need to hang on to it. Oh, I moved it. My E is not perfect now. Okay, let's see. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It looks pretty good. I'm working up a sweat. Jeez Louise. Okay. Got the E a little blooped, but that's okay. I don't mind. I'm okay with it. Oh, uh, you're looking patina by DIY. Okay. I don't know what that stuff is, but alrighty. Um, okay, so I shall move this up now. Can y'all still see it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Move my. Oof. My ow, move my chair closer. All right. So these are. Um, I think I've taken a couple of pieces off of this floral collection here, but you can get the general idea. Yeah, I've definitely taken a couple pieces. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. So we have lots of these and I think like I'll use like these and these this I don't think I'm gonna use any of the reds I'm gonna stay with the, the more pinky tones I know there's a couple of pinky ones in here like these two are cool they'll go well the yellows there's a big bunch there another yellow so I thought these all here like this would be really cute at the bottom because the bottom is green right I think so all right let's start cutting stuff out let's cut it out see what it looks like Ooh, that one came off backing must be careful This one up on this side would be pretty. 
I think this is gonna look really cute. I think so. I like this pink one. Let's line them all up, see what they look like. I like this one. The greenery. This is the great thing about the redesign with Prima transfers is you can cut them all up, make them all look different. No two ever looks the same. Okay, let's see what else we got. x on that red A. Um, possibly on this big bunch, but I'm not sure yet. But I definitely don't want this one, so let's take this one out. Put that guy over there. Let's cut these, even though I'm not sure that I'm going to use the bunches or not. But we shall see. We shall see. I can always throw the big bunch right up in there. The little guys on the side and then maybe this for filler I don't want that red so put the red to the side maybe that nope don't want that red maybe this guy here I like this bell one too, but I don't need the, um, I don't need the root, do I? I don't think I need the root. What do I want the root for? I don't need the root. All right, let's see. Do we have enough cut out now, you think? Is this too red? Mm, eh. It's okay. How about, uh, Okay, let's get these two. Ow! My finger! I'm gonna cut my finger off. Alright. Put all those red ones over there. Okay. And I can always cut the roots off if I don't need them. Alright. Okay, here we go. <laughs> let's see. Hmm. All right, well, this for sure, I can cut those really strange roots off. What's with this? Look at this. It's like random, goes to nothing. Just poof. I, I don't know. Random, totally random. All right, let's cut that bottom root part off because that's just kind of strange. And I wouldn't use it anyway, even with it. Even if it was on something else, I wouldn't use it. All right, let me see. Okay, that guy can go. I don't want him. Um, um, I definitely like this pink right here on the edge. So let's do that and get it out of the way. Right? Or should I put it on the other side? Because there's pink right there. So indecisive, you guys. It's hard to decide. It's really, really hard to decide. Plus, things have to fit beside its neighbor. And be the right height, too. Okay, so these little guys can go in the middle. This can go here. How tall is this one? It's pretty tall. So this could go in the middle here with that guy. I think. And then green. And 
Maybe throw the yellow there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's just start doing it. We'll see what happens. I know. <laughs> yep. And I'm just going to go for it. Oh, I lost a leaf. That's okay. I can fill it in. That's okay. That is okay. Bye bye, leaf. All right. Where's my sticky stick? There it is. Is that guy going to stick or is he backwards too? Hang on. This one is backwards right here. It flipped. All right, I'm going to have to do some filling over there. Can you all still see over here? No, a little bit. Yes, I like to make strange noises when I'm transferring. Waka, waka, waka. <laughs> okay. Cute. Yay. We got one. <laughs> we got one. I'm going to put that guy up there because he's still so ginormous. I'm not sure. All right, let's see. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I do like this one, so I'm going to put this one here. I think they look cute together. Okay. A little kid. <laughs> it's hard work. It's a lot harder on fabric, y'all. stuck on. Oh, goodness. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So I think this one should definitely go over there. And we could put a little yellow one down in between. Like a so. And then how's about we do the yellows right here. All right, so I'm going to cut these really strange lightning bolt. Uh, <laughs> I'm just tired watching, I know, right? What are these? They look like lightning bolts. Oh, no. We don't need them, though. They're ugly. I don't need brutes on my on my stuff. All right, bye 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 weird brutes. You can go. You can go. Bye bye. It's like kindergarten again. Cutting out stuff. Okay, that'll work. Because that should fit, I think, pretty good right there. I think so. Okay. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Yes, indeedy. Okay. I like that there. 
Make sure it's sort of straight-ish. Straight-ish. Okay. Dandelions. Whew. Getting my arm work out today. It's cool though you can when you are putting it on you can see it goes gray you know like you know when you it turns gray that you've that it's applied or it's attached or whatever it does that pretty easily so that's always good Whew. it's really a workout though let me tell you Let's see, doop, doop, doop. Good, 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 good. Yep, yep, good. No, oh, not so good. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Yep. Look how cute already. All right, so this one should fit here now. Like a little, uh, like a wild flower garden for the birdies. Okay. This one should fit here. Do I want to go down below or above? I think we'll go right in there kind of in between all right i'm ready for the wonky noise Is pooped, y'all. I'm only halfway. Okay, good. Look how cute. Good, Nike. All right, so that can go here. Daughter's laughing at me. I can hear her. All right. Uh, let me switch to the other hand. Oh, that just doesn't work very well. not left-handed. Okay, let's see. I think that one's good. Yep. Okay. And then I can fit 
this here, maybe. No. Okay. All right, this one should fit right there. Smaller ones are easier. <laughs> yes, yeah, much easier. <laughs> Look how cute it's looking. Thank you. So we'll do some greenery. This one, make sure I have enough to go across unless I need the other. I should do it this way. And then this one would be here. And this one, then this one, and then this one. And if need be, I can squeeze something out of that one, I think. Okay. Oh, is there hair in there? Dog hair. There's a dog hair in there. Dog hair! Dog hair! Dog hair alert! Dog hair alert! No more dog hair. <laughs> ah, the joys of dogs. They get their hair everywhere. There. I'll do each little leaf. Hopefully that's on. Hopefully I got all the leaves. Yep. Think so? Good. Okay. Three more to go. Hopefully I have enough. I think I do. I might need one more to squeeze in somewhere, but I think I should be good. Okay, make sure this one is sort of straight. That seems good. Okay. I still see clearly? Good. Thank you, Terry. I mean, and this could be, you can do this design really on anything it'd be cute on a dresser too that's the fun thing about the the redesign transfers is you can mix and match any of the designs cut them up make them all your own because we have the best selection don't we well, we sure do Sure do. Ow, that was my finger. I just tried to transfer my finger. Okay. All right, and then let me do this one first on the end, and then I know where I'm gonna need to put that guy. All right. So, how far over did I go? I mean, that's pretty good. I think right there will work. I still see over there? Yeah, okay. Right. 
Almost. Almost done. Oh, come back here, little. He was not ready. He said no. You didn't push me down hard enough. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then this guy can go in here. And then I think I might need something little here. Which I'm sure I can find. Something to squeeze in there. Or on this side. Maybe on that side. Um, I don't know. Maybe I don't need anything. Yeah, I do. Because they're all kind of like bumped up, squished into each other. So let's go here. Like that. This is cute. I did. Okay. So let's see what I can sneak off of here to fill in there. Um, I could probably get this little guy right here. I think that would fit in there nicely. All right, let's do that. Chop, 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 chop. Don't want to go all the way down. Just uh, right there. Right there is good. in there. Yep. Yep, yep. Might have to put it on a bit of an angle. But it's good. Good little filler. Flower heaven. Cute, eh? I love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Let's see. I can hold it so you guys can see it. Look how cute. I love it. It looks awesome. So cute. All right. Well, I think that's it. And then I'm going to, um, I'll seal it. I have to go get some more, uh, uh, fabric mod podge. Cause I, I don't know where mine is. I've lost it like everything else. And I will, um, I will put it on a, uh, a mannequin so that you can see it done out looking like it should because right now it's on an angle so it's hard to see it's hard to see yeah that's better there like that cute right and wouldn't that look pretty on a dresser too i think so all right guys well thanks for hanging with me for however long that was it felt like forever for me my arm is really sore now but uh yeah you can put transfers on anything. So have a great day, guys. I'll see you later. See you next Monday.